Hello friends, this video on Electrochemistry part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Something called molar conductivity. You have talked about conductivity for electrolytes. Now let's talk about molar conductivity for electrolytes. See, we have seen that the conductivity of an electrolyte depends on concentration, there is nothing but concentration, we generally given molarity of the whole electrolyte, the temperature, right? And why they differ? Because the moment you change the concentration, right, because the whole uh, ions are the one who are the current carrier in the electrolyte solution. So, the, you change the molarity of the electrolyte, the concentration of ion will also change, right? So concentration of ion will also change plus if you make it viscous or non-viscous that determines the ease with which the ions can move, correct? Also uh, molarity also de determines uh, their how far they dissociate. For example, if I take acetic acid, it dissociate into CO minus NH plus. But if you take a very high molar, if you take a concentrated solution, most of the acetic acid will be in this form. It won't dissociate much. But if you take a dilute solution, we know this using equilibrium constant, but if you take a dilute solution, most of the acetic acid will be in this form. It will be in the ions form. So this part, they don't conduct electricity, right? But this part conduct electricity. So you are decreasing the concentration. You actually, you are increasing the concentration of ions. Please note, for a weak electrolyte, it's a very strange case. You are decreasing the concentration. That means you are making the whole electrolyte more dilute. You are increasing actually the concentrations of ions. So there is a huge, and since we are seeing the conductivity is very much tied to molarity or the concentration, right? So there was a need to define the term called molar conductivity. Molar conductivity. And it is written by lambda. Lambda. And molar conductivity is nothing but by normal conductivity by concentration and this is nothing but in moles per meter cube please note it is not in moles per liter it is in moles per liter cube per meter per meter cube and uh, this is conductivity that is, I know is nothing but kappa and this unit is Siemens per meter if you talk about uh, my SI unit so if you compare this to my lambda unit will be Siemens meter square Per mole. Please note, I'm repeating here once again. This is not in moles per liter, right? The concentration is moles per meter cube. So, if you want to know the relation, so one mole per meter cube is nothing but one thousand moles per liter. So, if you have something in moles per liter, then you have to divide by thousand to get in moles per meter cube. Right. Similarly, one mole per centimeter cube is nothing but one by one thousand moles per liter. And moles per liter is my molarity actually. It's pretty easy actually because one liter is nothing but ten centimeter cube. Because you take a box of ten centimeter by ten into ten, what you get is one liter. Right. So you just make it ten centimeter cube, and then you will get the answer. Correct. So lambda m is my molar, molar conductivity. The normal unit is Siemens meter square per mole, but Siemens centimeter square per mole is also used, right? Where I give the conductivity in Siemens per centimeter and the concentration also in moles per centimeter. But this is my SI unit. 
I'm repeating once again, this is not in moles per liter, it is either in moles per centimeter cube or moles per meter cube. Let's see some of the standard values of KCL actually. So for KCL, this is all for KCL. These are my value of C. This is my C molarity. But if you see the concentration I'm looking either in moles per meter cube. So this moles per liter has been converted to moles per meter cube. Right? And this is my K. K was in Siemens per centimeter. So this is also K in Siemens per meter. So these two are my K. And this is my molar conductivity in S centimeter square per mole. And this is S meter square per mole. So these are two values of my lambda. Correct. So Everything is given in internet. You can actually see in different uh, units also they have given for different concentrations. Right? 1 mole, 0.1 mole, 0 0.01 mole. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.